What's happening guys? Gene coming to you here from the True Patriot Outfitters Garage. So I had a couple of guys uh, reach out to me and wanted to know about the setup that I was throwing at the Missouri River when we were at Lewis and Clark. Uh, when we started calling out numbers there and we hit a couple key locations and started tearing them up, I literally had one rod and reel in my hand the entire afternoon there and it was this bad boy right here. This setup here is what sealed uh, that third place and almost got second place for us. Um, in that gig uh, so we moved up quite a bit um, as you guys know we started testing out 13 fishing at the beginning of this year and I got to tell you the rods that we have been testing with 13 fishing have blown me away um, I didn't really know what to think uh, it's a big name brand uh, it's out there quite a bit um, but I got to tell you uh, from their customer support the price points the performance and quality of these rods I'm sold, man. I'm in, and we're looking to uh, probably next year we'll be going even deeper with these guys and uh, and loading out. But this was the the gig that we used. If the camera can pick it up, it's a pretty simple deal. This is a seven foot one, medium heavy, and it is an extra fast tip. Um, I wanted that extra fast tip just to help me uh, get that hook set with a jig uh, and get up get up in there. In a kayak, it's a little bit different than a bass boat. When it comes to your hook sets, you want that fast, extra fast tip just to get that get that backbone to engage quick, okay? Because your your boat is moving a lot more, your fishing platform is, than you are in a bass boat. So that was one of the reasons we stepped up to that. And this thing did not disappoint, man. And this is literally the Fate Black Series, uh, the Series 3. It's not an expensive rod, but I got to tell you, the sensitivity uh, of this thing from the reel seats, um, you name it, man. The reel that we're throwing is just a Lose uh, MG, uh, Laser MG. It's an old one. I've had this thing for a couple seasons. The real magic in this happened at two places. Uh, number one, the fishing line. The line that we're throwing here is Vicious Fishing 17 pound, it's the Pro Elite uh, 17 pound floral. This man, I was throwing this in the middle of twigs and, and sticks and brush and grass, uh, throwing it right off of these edges, bouncing it, letting it fall down in there and getting nailed by the smallies and actually a couple greens up against those cut banks. And this line never, never gave in. Um, it was just stuck. I could pull them right out of the mess. Uh, with this 17 pound floral i had total confidence in it i boat flipped everything even that 19 inch smallie we boat flipped him straight up and in um just knowing that this line was going to hold up for us and that our, our knots and everything was good that was the first piece of where the magic took place the second piece here um is in the jig <coughs> excuse me <coughs> see if i can get the camera to pick this up she is beat up dog you can see the, the paint actually started to chip away on this thing. Um, this thing took a beating. Let's see if we can show it there a little bit cleaner. This is a quarter ounce finesse jig by All Terrain Tackle. Um, great little weed guard on it. Perfect, uh, perfect range. We trimmed a little bit off of it just to, just to give us that better clearance. And believe it or not, this trailer that I use on it, I picked this up at a local tackle store right there in Yankton, South Dakota. We've never used uh, these guys before. We've wanted to. We want to work with them, uh, but uh, we've been unsuccessful at this point. So maybe if they're watching, hey, Netbait, we're here, and uh, and we'd love to work with you. I found these guys, as you can see by the sticker, it was on clearance, and it was the perfect profile of what I was looking for. And that's why I went there, because I didn't really have anything in my lineup that was the exact uh, kind of what was in my head of what I wanted to put a trailer on. All this is is the mini kick and bee and green pumpkin um, from Netbait and it's this little guy right here. I, I didn't want too much uh, action on the back but I also didn't want uh, just a straight line like paddle tail. I wanted something in between that and I didn't want to have to cut it down. This was the the perfect size trailer man that, that matched with this all-terrain tackle jig. And it offered me a clean line when I could drop it in there, even right in the middle of uh, that brush and sticks and so forth. We could throw this in here, jiggle it a little bit here and there, and it would knock itself down through, get back in there where they were hiding. Uh, and it uh, it did the job. So I'm telling you, man, all-terrain tackle bass jigs, you can't beat the quality, you can't beat the performance. That hook, man, is still razor sharp after all those fish that we hit on that. Um, and uh, And all the terrain that we ran them through there, it was uh, it was not light work, I'll tell you that. 
but this little setup right here, man, the Fate Black uh, by 13 Fishing, 7-1, medium heavy, extra fast uh, for pitching and flipping, uh, throwing that jig in there, and that 17-pound vicious fishing line, Pro Elite, that's the stuff we went with is the, is the Pro, 17-pound um, floral. This stuff is the deal, man. It's got, it gives you that confidence that I normally don't get unless I'm throwing braid. But this stuff here, it took care of it, of course. And then the uh, all-terrain finesse jig and uh, quarter ounce, she got her done. So we're hoping to throw those jigs at, uh, at Bull Shoals where we're going. Uh, we'll have to see what uh, what size and what kind we're going to be throwing in uh, in our conditions there. But I'm hoping that jig bite is on there because that's uh, that is definitely a type of fishing we do enjoy. So stick with us, guys. We got some more tips and tricks uh, coming up here, and uh, we should be heading to Bull Shoals, so the content should start to get flowing. Tight lines, y'all. Be safe.